Request rearming. Copy. Rearming complete.
typing in steer points is so tedious. <laughs> Come on, data cartridge. Gypsy 2, check Fox Mike. Gypsy 2, check uniform. 2. Okay, one's got you Lima Charlie and one is Green Jet. Oh, that was fast. Um, I am still entering in my waypoints, so uh, I've got a few more minutes. One cabby, take your time. Actually, uh, I'm not, you know. I, I like the the DED on the uh, the F16. It's not as good as the CDU on the A10 by any means, but it's not as bad as the Hornet. <laughs> that being said, data entry definitely a must. So hard deck is. 11,000, so I think I'd like to get warned at 12,000. And I'm also going to change my program 3 to be set up so I can do simulated Fox 2s and mark it. Yeah, that works. Cool.
Alright, I think we're set and ready to go. And Wing, if you're still here, I've got uniform for blackjack as a 377 decimal eight. This bug is very annoying. Hey T, just a heads up, I've got your uh, fuselage light on. Okay, roger that. Okay, should be up. Looking good. Gypsy 2, let's push uniform preset 3. No traffic, uh, bow run 1 parked north of COR. Gypsy 2, check uniform. North Tower, Balrog 1, uh, taxiing from North East EOR to 2 1 right, crossing 2 1 left for Dream Low departure. One, Roger. Look pretty for pictures. Dallas Tower, Gypsy 2, T-Ship F-16, Foxtrot 16, look for taxi to northwest you are for Dream 4 departure to the north. Gypsy 2, taxi in sequence. Little brake check, brakes are working. Small tower, easy. Balrog, one, two, clear of two, one, left and echo.
uh, do you want to run the alpha check over uh, roll map? Hey, firm two, we can uh, we can alpha check. I've got you somewhat broken. Not sure if it's my end or yours. Okay, uh, let me uh, just do another quick check here. How, how, how do you uh, copy me now? Uh, five by three, pretty broken. Also, bell one, one take off his right. Are you there? Uh, I don't know what would be wrong. Uh, let, me, let me check a couple things. I did a reset on my uh, audio drivers. Uh, how to, how's that? Five by five, loud and clear. Sounds good. Roger that. Nelson, Tower, Balrog 1, leaving your airspace for Nels Control. Uh, 6,000 feet, correct. Ellis Tower, Gypsy 2, two ship F-16, parked Foxtrot. Uh, correction, parked Northwest UR. Gypsy 2, configure for takeoff. Once configured. Showing altimeter three zero zero five. I have one eight six zero electric. Two seconds. Standby alpha checks two point five. 
One has steer point five eight three decimal four. Steer point six seven zero decimal three. Steer point seven seven four decimal zero. Steer point eight. Eight six decimal four. Uh, looks like I've got a problem on eight. Copy. Let me check that real quick. One A firm. Okay, two's good with that. Continue. It's two point nine one zero zero decimal two. It's two point ten two nine or decimal nine. It's two point eleven nine or decimal zero. Dream low departure, active runway 24 right. Winds 180 by 5 knots, clear for takeoff. Tour at your takeoff out of three. And it's 2.12, I've got uh, 5 decimal zero. Two same, all good. Hell's Tower, Gypsy 2, Northwest you are looking for taxi to 2 1 right. Gypsy 2, taxi 2 1 right and hold short, Gypsy 2. K2, let's taxi in sequence. And we got a tower controller this time. Hell yeah, I could, uh, could enjoy this. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Gypsy 2, clear for takeoff, runway 2 and right. Gypsy 2. R3, Craig, climb down the left, up until 2 on the right. 2 on the right. One is in, break set. Two on position, break set. Gypsy two, run them up. One is green. Two is green. Roger, this will be mill power. Gypsy two, stand by, breaks, 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 release. Gear coming up. Now 
Nellis Tire, GP2, airborne is fracked. One's coming right. Nellis Tower copy is good day. Two cross under. Nellis Tower, Gypsy 2, crossing Craig 5000, pushing Nellis Control. Thanks, good day. Gypsy 2, push Tom 1, Nellis up shore. Sure. Nellis Control, good day, Gypsy 2, two ship at F 16, Craig outbound on a Dream 4 departure to the north with you. Gypsy 2, check uniform. Okay, chat, just catching up here. Uh, Peter, I'm glad you're enjoying them. And uh, LT Thumper, to my knowledge, no, this block we can't do MGRS uh, like the A10. I could be wrong on that, but to my knowledge, no. You're cleared fighting wing. Two cleared fighting wing, and I have uh, traffic ahead, maybe 10 miles uh, inside. Roger, one same. Nellis Control, Gypsy 2, Mint outbound through 17-5, pushing Blackjack. Thanks, g'day. Gypsy 2, push COM 1, preset 10. And our Lord 3 proceeding not direct to the Charlie Bubble to 4 zero. Blackjack, good day, Gypsy 2, 2 ship F16, Mint, Direct Dream with you, climbing through 18.5. Okay, 
Gypsy, let's push it up point eight. And one's gonna level off twenty thousand. Two rapture twenty thousand. Gypsy 2, fence in. One is fenced, zero, zero, 002, correction, zero, zero, 004 minus 7.8. Feeding okay, lights on. Two is fence, zero, zero, 004. Minus, feeding OK, 7.8, lights on. Pretty handy if you hit the nose wheel steering button. Uh, you can hit the expand mode and kind of discriminate a little bit better on a flight that's pretty close. Nice. Blackjack, Gypsy 2, Dream, coming right, reference CP. Okay, check in right, reference 2.5. Totally missed my lights. And one just knows to get a little fast, I'm bringing it back. supposed to be a way you can set up uh, manual waypoint sequencing. I've done it before, but I'm forgetting it right now. Let's see. One's got yardstick sweep. Watch out, Hello, one uh, on station at CP, uh, awaiting engagement. Ooh, you know what I need to do? I need to get my frequency set up here for the ranges. Establish on station uh, Atlantic Charlie 
So 11 is going to be range 1, which is 119500. Enter. Oh, that didn't work. 1, 2. It's going to be 1, 3, 7. Just a heads up too, I'm changing my victor frequencies uh, 11 through 14 to match the ranges for presets. Ah, uh, um, actually I have 11 on tanker, so I'll probably go 12 through 15. Okay. Just a quick note from the chat, uh, Magic was saying hit sequence and steer point for auto. Ooh, Magic, steer point to auto, okay. Ah, manual to auto, nice. Yep, perfect, thank you very much. Sweet. Okay, one's going to be coming right. Gypsy 2 established CP 20,000. Balrog 1, copy. interesting. I'm not having that problem here. Uh, is that... Oh, you know what? It's probably... Uh, go uh, for a bell run uh, comp 2. Uh, so, uh, what's the plan? A-firm, yeah, you've got to be in the comp 2 submenu. Uh, repeat, uh, you're a little bit muffled, I can't hear you. What's the plan now? Uh, is uh, Outlaw 3 on station? A for Alright then, uh, matchups are as follows. Uh, guns and Puma, Balrog 1 will go to Caliente Sierra. Roman and Striker, uh, Gypsy 2 will go to uh, Arena 1, Elgin North. And Ghost and Panther will go to Arena 3, which is Caliente Bravo. Um, cleared to transit to your arenas now. Gypsy 2 pushing Elgin North. K2, I'm leveling out. Two, Roger. Uh, let's hack time now and uh, plan to be back in 15. Gypsy 2, roger. Alright, 2 is going a little bit heads down for uh, changing the radio frequency. Copy.
and two radio hack complete. Roger. We'll stay on uh, Fox Mike for this since it's just you and me. Roger. Okay, so we're gonna extend south. We'll hook and then we'll try and set up for the butterfly. Roger that. So go ahead and go uh, line left. Uh, stand by one more second. I'm gonna set up my uh, frequency on channel 10 for the for our intercom 34.6. Roger. Unable. Let's check left for uh, for admin. Okay. Checking left. Roll out one eight zero. One eight zero what? Okay, one's uh, rolled out. Two, you are cleared. Heads down. Okay, uh, heads down, and I'm uh, uh, floating out to the left for uh, line left. Gypsy, push it up, point eight. Point eight. Gypsy, hook, right, ready, go. Reference Elgin North. Steer point. Six. Line two, I'm uh, nineteen five uh, northbound for two point six. Okay, uh, two is uh, one thousand six sixteen thousand and uh, heading zero three six. I'm two point one miles away, so I'm going to turn back in. Roger, bring it back up uh, to twenty thousand. I'm looking for you. Got you on data link. Uh, looks like you're sucked behind me. Hey, firm. Okay, Roger. One's gonna do a 90 right if you want to continue north. Okay, continue north. Okay, one's visual two. Uh, checking back left. Roger that. I'll float in to the right for the line left one mile. Okay, we can actually do it from here. It's kind of a modified butterfly, so let's uh, establish. Looks like uh, five miles, and I'm going to turn inbound and we'll call fights on. Firm. 
Okay, 4.5, fight song. Two fights on. Are we uh, go for burner on this? A firm. Two tell. One tell. Five four transition. the deck. Okay, let's uh, terminate altitude. Say altitude. Ten thousand. Roger. Okay, one's uh, clear to the south. South. And Gypsy Two Ops check. One is five point six. Okay, I think we'll have fuel and gas, uh, rather, gas and time for one more. Hey, for Let's climb back up, uh, 16. Pushing it up point eight. Two established sixteen thousand four hundred knots. One visual two. Gypsy 2, stand by, hook, left, ready, go.
Okay, one's rolled out north. Two same. Two's coming, uh, line left. Roger. One's pushing it up 400. Okay, range is on the nose, 10 miles. Okay, five miles, Gypsy, check away. Check away. Six, turn in, fight's on. Angels 10, push it flush. 29 miles, DMA north. Two tally. One tally. Simulated Fox 2. Transition. Uh, Gypsy 2 and uh, Outlaw 3, Balrog 1. Auto Owen Boat. Okay, Gypsy, let's turn it. Have you guys completed all three engagements? We've just done two, so happy to extend by another few minutes if everyone else is still fighting. Yeah, we just finished. Gypsy 2 just finished. Alright, we'll knock it off then and head back home. Uh, meet you guys back at the control point. Hey, nice job. Looked like you kept your speed up on that one. Oh, uh, not really, thanks. <laughs> I kept it up at the beginning and then I bled it down to about 200, to about halfway through. Okay, uh, I definitely noticed uh, a little bit. Strike, it looked like you were able to, to get back up there. Yeah, Stop pulling striker Roman. Striker Roman, Gypsy 2 on freak, what's up? Nothing. Disregard. Uh, flight, how is everyone on fuel? Gypsy 2 ops check, uh, one is 4.0. Roger, let's hit the tanker. Would now uh, now would probably be the best uh, opportunity to refuel for everyone, yeah. Gypsy 2 is heading for the tanker. Copy, Balrog 1 also heading for the tanker. Ok, 
Okay, one's at uh, 21,000, climbing for 25,000 at uh, 0.6 for you. Okay, Roger, uh, two visual one, and uh, go on, Buster. And that jet, all our trees switching, uh, uh, pushing direct to Amico for our viewing. I liked your use of the vertical there at that last set, uh, going high and then using flares coming down. Those are good preemptive flares. Definitely not a good shot for me with the mic, but those were good uh, flares for an X-ray. Okay, right. Yeah, that time I went low and then and then came up high. I'm like your four o'clock wedge left. Flag Jack, Bender 7, flush. Push it, Jason. Angel 10. Blackjack, Gypsy 2, pushing Texco. Thanks, Kitty. Gypsy 2, push uniform, Texaco 342.15. Texaco, good day, Gypsy 2, two ship F16, climbing through 25,000 with you. Gypsy 2, check uniform. Gypsy 2, fence out, nose is cold. One's fenced. 2 visual 1 on my right, uh, 4 o'clock. One visual two, and I'm checking right for tanker. Uh, one is fenced. Two is fenced, Tankers on the nose, 14 miles.
guns blind on to. Uh, probably your uh, 2 o'clock. I got you visual on my uh, 3 o'clock. One visual. One's fly down. Texaco, Gypsy 2, 2 miles astern. Push it up for uh, point eight. And Gypsy Ops check uh, one three point four. Two is two point six. Mexico, Gypsy 2, established observation. K2, you're closer to bingo, so you're cleared to cross under and refuel. Two crossing under and go on a stern. Texaco, Gypsy 2, 2, moving into pre contact position. Things I learned from Magic the other day. Is to get my AAR door opened for at least five minutes to uh, depressurize.
Viper's a little challenging when it's light like this, especially when you do a lot of practice with the uh, the two bags or air to ground ordnance. When you're heavy and sluggish, it's uh, fairly easy to stay on the boom. It's all that drag kind of acts like a brake. But when it's light like this, it's uh, it can be kind of challenging, especially with the throttle. All right, he's on, so I'm gonna open up the AAR door and depressurize the tanks. Text and fly. <laughs> Alright, that's my Joker in there. It's also very easy to get rusty with the Viper. Contact. Seems like it takes constant practice. You're taking fuel. But when you light the afterburner, you're probably going to get constant practice, so I guess it's a net zero situation. Mexico, Gypsy 2 1, moving astern.
Ready, recontact. Cleared contact. Nice, we're turning. I can barely see those lights. I am rusty. All right, small movements. It's the uh, up and down porpoising that is somewhat scary because I don't want to hit my tail on the boom. As you take on fuel, you gotta add a little power. Add a little power. As you can see, I'm real rusty here. You gotta come aft. Feel the jet get spongy as I take on extra weight. And you end up with the white knuckle, you gotta just relax. Texaco, Gypsy 2-1, moving reform. One crossing under. Two visual one. Texaco, Gypsy 2, thanks for the gas. Gypsy 2 is clearing low and left. 2, let's uh, 
take us out, low left, reference 0.5. One has the lead. Okay, one's pushing it up. And nose coming down. Texaco, Gypsy 2, clear to the south, pushing blackjack. Thanks, g'day. Gypsy 2, push COM 110. Blackjack, g'day. Gypsy 2, 2 ship F16, out of the Texaco track, uh, proceeding to CP. Gypsy 2, Barad 1. Gypsy 2, go. Uh, Gypsy 2, good to have you back. Uh, quick situation update. Uh, break. Uh, Outlaw 3 had to, uh, correction, Outlaw 3 2 had to go home, uh, wasn't able to refuel, so it'll just be the five of us. Uh, let me know if everyone is ready for uh, next assignment. I'll go to ready. Gypsy 2 ready. Alright, next, uh, next round is uh, Arena 1, Elgin North, will be Puma and Roman. Arena uh, 2, which is Caliente Sierra, will be Guns and Ghost. And Striker uh, has a buy for the next round due to uh, Panther having pull out. You are all cleared to your next engagement. Hey, too, I missed uh, my assignment there. Was I Elgin North? Uh, half time now, all, and uh, we'll be back in 15 minutes. Um, I thought it was Arena 2, but, but uh, you know what? Probably should just ask. Belrag 1 2, Gypsy 2 1. Gypsy, go ahead on mid, on UHF. Hey, just uh, confirming, we were uh, Elgin North. Affirm, 75.5. decimal five. Roger. Gypsy 2-1, pushing range tactical. Alright, one's uh, changing uniform. Correction, changing Victor. Gypsy 2 ones up on Victor. Gypsy 2 2 on Victor. 
Hey, too, I think you're good to just uh, stay in the hold. Okay, I'll hold here and uh, I'll see you when you're done. Roger. Tactical 75 decimal 5. Bellrag, uh, Gypsy's got tactical Victor 119 decimal 5. Hey, did that. Any flight, Balrog 1 2, comms check. Blackjack. Hold on, three, two, five, five. Right, one, two, three, one. Balrog 1 2, Gypsy 2 1. I've got tactical frequency Victor 119 5. Standby 119 5. Bellrog 12, Comcheck 119 decimal 5. Bellrog Gypsy, Limit Charlie. Starrog is left hand hold in the AO at light level 200. Gypsy 2, visual, I'm your 7 o'clock, 3 miles. Gypsy's gonna cross under, go to the outside, and uh, I'll be ready. One, two, maintaining left. Okay, Belrog, if we want to roll out west. Indicated. Roger. Gypsy's going to need to uh, basically extend to the uh, western boundary, and then if we can hook back to the east and go immediately into the butterfly. Power on ready. Bellrog, stand by, hook, left, ready, go. Okay, Gypsy's checking away to the east. Correction, northeast. Ready on the left. Bye. 
fights on. Roger, turn in, fights on. Tally clear and right. Roger, tally clear and right. Gypsy Fox 2. Continue. Good kill. Terminating East. Roger. Terminating East. Gypsy blind. Okay. Gypsy 2's uh, visual. I'm your right one mile little low. If you're happy, we can just extend and repeat. Go, uh, line of breath. Uh, two. Makes sense. Take the lead as far as the butterfly calls all, uh, Gypsy T1, Roger. Stand by, hook to the left, ready, go. Check left reference, Elgin North. Okay, Gypsy 2 is your line left, one mile. Check away. Okay, three miles, turn in, fight's on. Alright, fight's on. Gypsy's visual continue. I'm your two o'clock high. Gypsy 
Gypsy 2, simulated Fox 2. Choose your fighting wing right east. Visual. Great case, lose sight, lose the fight. I uh, thought I had an advantage and then messed it up, and uh, yeah, great, great uh, finish. Now you looked good uh, cutting in there uh, once you saw I was operating in the vertical, and then I, th I think it was a situation where you weren't able to get your nose up. I was trying to stay above your nose. Happy. I was expecting you to take us one circle here, but I think we've been doing a lot of two circle stuff. Yeah, I think we're starting one, but then yeah, I'm not I'm not reversing well in Burgess, so I get my SA up. Well I'm going into the vertical there, that just my head exploded. I've never done that in any time. So why we do this. Yeah, a firm. You can use the vertical, but it's typically only downhill. Yep. Okay, standby. Hook to the left. Ready? Go. Be advised, Balrog is one six seven indicated at sixteen six climbing. Roger. Gypsy's uh, two thirty at seventeen visual. Okay, Gypsies, your uh, wedge left coming up to line, ready on the left. Zero ready, right? Okay, check away. Three miles, turn in, fight's on. Power on, fight's on. Okay, I'm gonna be turning to the left to flow towards the uh, point. You may wanna, ch you know, reverse back left with me and take this one circle. Or it's gonna be right for you. Power on, no joy. I'm a little low. Check. Balrog 1, uh, time's up, uh, finish your sets, and head back to CP. Alright, let's terminate. Balrog, terminate. Uh, Balrog's turning right back to IP at 17.5. Roger, Gypsy's, uh, Three miles, your line left, uh, correction, line right low, uh, back to the CP. Thanks, good day. Good job. Chip yeah. G2 back on Fox Mike. Blackjack Gypsy 2 1, 
8 to the south, inbound CP at 20,000. Bowerog 1, copy. Blackjack Bowerog 1, 2, back with you, south CP, rejoining with Bowerog 1, 1. Bowerog 1, 1, copy. Uh, Alright folks, next matchup will be Puma and Ghost in Arena 1, Elgin North. Guns and Striker in Arena 2, Caliente Sierra. And uh, third is Roman has a buy for this round. And if y'all have the fuel for it and they're still up for it, we can do another round after this. So uh, uh, Roman can get a third round. Gypsy 2-2, copy. 1-1, Pontiac 1-1, Solid 1-2, copy. Going back to Elgin North and tactical 7-5, decimal 5. Gypsy 2-2, copy. Going back to Elgin North and tactical 7-5, decimal 5. Gypsy 1 2, Balrog 1 1, going tactical on Bummer. I was uh, looking forward to doing some Hornet stuff. So fingers crossed we can have enough fuel for a ghost. I think he's getting quite the workout though. I'm just gonna do my best here to climb and hold high altitude to conserve fuel. Fuel flow is 4,700 pounds uh, per hour right now. I'm at mill power. But as I climb, it's going to get better. Outlaw, Balrog 1 2 on UHF. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm with you. I'll, I'll join now in line line. Copy that. Uh, are you we using tactical 75 decimal 5? Uh, I'll be I think it's 119 decimal 5. I can't remember what the max endurance uh, AOA is here. Uh, if, if max glide is 7 AOA, then I would think that max endurance would be fairly close. Probably going to shoot for like 34,000 feet in terms of altitude. We've already got our fuel flow down 1,000 pounds per hour just by climbing. In fact, if I just level off here, fly 0.7, start bringing the power back. I 
there we go, 3,200 pounds per hour. So, a little under two hours endurance. Obviously, it's not going to be that good when I turn, but I, I just love the avionics of this jet. I love the fuel flow, and I love the totalizer. It's just absolutely awesome. Now, if we can just get the cruise page to work. Saved two mics for the Hornet fights, and uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna get a chance to do that here. I can probably go up even higher. Might be 36,000 feet with this weight. I did not check the performance tables for this, so I'm just kind of doing some guessing. Yeah, this is pretty good. 25.50, and we've got, looks like, 5,600 pounds, so, you know, that's uh, a little under two hours endurance to uh, to basically emergency recovery fuel, right? So, obviously a lot less if we're going to bingo, but pretty uh, spectacular difference. 15,000 feet of elevation. You know, at 20,000 feet, we were burning 4,800, and up here at 35,5, we're burning 2,500.
wonder if I can uh, discriminate on the radio or on the radar who's a 18 and who's a 16. to hold get the heading back towards the west here look at whoever's fighting see anyone across the circle. Sounded like a hornet though. Okay, hornet's below. Ooh. This is dangerous because that hornet's just kind of in lag right now. And he, uh, he rolled wings level. Let's see if that was for altitude. Nope, not altitude. Maybe they terminated. Flare F-16. Watch the hard deck. Shit, I had you and then I lost you. There you go, he's got him now. So the hog's actually pretty dangerous down low. It's got some pretty good turn rate. F-16 needs to be flaring. Bad aim 9 shot though. Okay, he's doing a good two circle fight game plan. 4,400 feet, but definitely don't go nose low right there. Guns would uh, definitely be violating the, uh, the bubble, the altitude restrictions. Ooh, we just missed that one. Let's see if they terminate or if they're continuing. terminated. Alright, there's 10-5, so that's uh, altitude bubble violation. They've probably already terminated. And it looks like Striker might sweep below the hard deck. Okay, so this is one circle. And I'm back, I'll launch you, you're returning to control point, climbing that will do for zero. We should definitely be terminating below 10,000. And I'll build a one when I'll launch one. Climbing 
Black Chap Gypsy 2-1's uh, high altitude orbit, 36,000. Some airspeed back up. Got a little too far beyond the uh, power drag curve there. Black Jack, Bell Rug 1. Gypsies 2 is good on gas, uh, ready for a set. Gypsy 2, Balrog 1, uh, come meet me at uh, Caliente Sierra. Caliente Sierra, Gypsy 2 1. 18,000 feet. Yeah. Tactical <laughs> frequency 137 decimal 2. Blackjack, Gypsy 2 1, pushing tack. Balrog 1-1, one, one, Balrog 1-2, one, request RTB. Gypsy 2 go. Balrog 1 1 is just southwest of the CP 17 5. Gypsy 2 2 is going to go uh, to the tanker to get some gas. Gypsy 2 1 uh, sensor contact. It's hard lock them. Balrog 1 1 is uh, 0 1 Yankee Tacan. Like? Establishing a right hand orbit five miles uh, around Arena 2. Gypsy 2 1 uh, visual. I'm ready if you are. Roger, ready. Oh, I lost you in the clouds. Pop flares? Pop flares. You're right, 1 o'clock, 19.5. Tally. Roger, fight time. 
Lights off. No, I'm not going one circle with the hog. That would be dumb. Wow, that was the first uh, eight year jet wash on that uh, initial turn. Gypsy 2, Fox 2. Terminate, terminate, terminate. Gypsy 2, terminate. Uh, follow out, terminating, heading 290. Okay, Gypsy's established, one mile, nine left. Visual, uh, let's, uh, in place, 180 right. Blackjack, Bow 1 2, CP 18,000, departing, reference Argo direct. Final heading 090. Zero, zero. Blackjack, Gypsy 2 2 is going to tanker, get some gas, check it out. Yeah, I got a new jet wash there, uh, on that initial turn after the merge. Gypsy 2-1's established east. Uh, Balrog is no joy. In your line right, one mile. Uh, what's your altitude? 17-3, uh, about 50 feet low with the wing flash. Tally, uh, ready left. Ready right. Checking left. Fight on. Roger, fight on. Gypsy 2 1 tally. Follow on 1 1 tally. Ooh, loop turn nose high. Interesting. He's going to be left. Ooh, he reversed. That's a good one circle fight. Good job. We will yo yo above. He's going to struggle to get his nose up. We're low energy. That's okay. We're going to be nose down here, here, downhill here. Gypsy 2 1, simulated Fox 2. Windows hot. A firm. Simulated Fox 2. Gypsy 2 guns. Terminate, terminate, terminate. Uh, Bell Rock terminating, heading 300. Roger, Gypsy 2 1, terminating north. Nice work. Good fights. You got gas for one more? Gypsy 2, A firm. Climbing back to uh, 17,000 feet. Gypsy Rider. Right. 
Man, I just can't follow you if you guys go into the vertical. I'm not sure how to uh, combat that. Uh, Ghost absolutely tanked me, and uh, you got me there too with that vertical climb. Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, you know, we're trying to create separation for Wes, so you got to figure out how to really keep it tight. Yeah, it's hard to do when I can't uh, can't go quite as high as you can. Yeah, A firm. Good job trying to get the one circle, though. Did my best. Balrog one is. Uh, Balrog one is two miles south of Arena Midpoint. Or correction, two miles north of Arena Midpoint. Gypsy two one is one point five mile trail. Uh, 230 indicated, ready. Uh, check left heading uh, 090, I'll check right heading 270. Gypsy 21. Two ones established east seventeen five. All right, uh, one eighty back to the midpoint, and I'll see you there. Gypsy two. I think one thing I'm also doing that's kind of dumb is I'm pulling too hard on turning into the initial merge, and I'm losing all my. Speed. Yeah, keep the speed up. Charlie. Gypsy 2 is looking. Fight on. Roger, fight on. Clearing right. Roger, Tally, clearing right. This is dangerous for me because he can come right across this circle and get weapons on. So what we're going to do is light the burner. okay with him coming one circle here because I'm high and he's not going to be able to get the nose back up. Okay, mill power, going to let it sit. Go one circle. Hot Archery Submission, 12.23,000. You can see his wings fluttering. Boom, there he goes. He's low energy. We'll turn in. Gypsy 2, simulated Fox 2. Gypsy 2, simulated Fox 2. Terminate, terminate, terminate. Barog terminating, heading 040. Okay, Gypsy is terminating. I'm your uh, fighting wing right. Nice work. Yeah, I uh, did a little bit better about uh, keeping you kind of closer, but in doing so, I lost all my uh, energy, and then you just <laughs> had no problem kicking me out again. Black Jack, Balrog, one, two, five miles north, Arco, 18,000, pushing Nell's control. Yeah, you did a good job there trying to get the one circle. I think you saw I tried to stay a little bit more horizontal. Um, 
when you saw that I then retook the two circle, uh, that was like an opportunity for you to really tighten up your your energy, cash in, get nose position for a for a shot. But overall, good job. That looked good. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, I uh, I saw you trying to turn it back to two circle, and I tried to go one circle at that point, but I just didn't have any speed remaining, and so. Uh, I think you were just able to circle around and kill me because I was basically stationary in midair. Roger. Gypsy 2 pushing uh, Fox Mike. Blackjack, Balrog 1 1, uh, finished with my fight. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. You guys are welcome to keep at it if you'd like. Um, Coordinate on yourself on your own, or uh, we can all call it a day and head back home. Yeah, I'll actually uh, sticking off on RTB. Black Tank Gypsy two one uh, pushing CP. Outlaw three, Belrog one, copy RTB. Uh, pushing direct Arco, Arco, Arco. Blackjack, Balrog 1-1, one, one, pushing direct Arco, 15,000. It was fun, guys. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the set. Yes, it was. Yep, Gypsy 2, good fights. Hey, two, are you up on uh, Fox Mike? Gypsy two two, uh, Gypsy two one. Blackjack, Gypsy two. One pushing Texaco. Thanks, G'day. Texaco, G'day. Gypsy 2 1, single ship F 16 inbound. Gypsy 2 2, Gypsy 2 1. Roger, got you, Lima Charlie. I'm on uh, Fox Mike uh, 3 4 decimal 6. Roger that. I'm uh, trying to hook up to the tanker to refuel, and uh, I'll switch over to uh, uh, intercom frequency uh, in, a, in a few minutes. Gypsy 2 1, Roger. Okay, let's see. Contact. You're taking fuel. Return free contact. It's interesting to look at tack view and see everybody's speeds and G's and whatnot. That's where the real learning comes in. See where angles are being given up. I think one thing you probably noticed is a lot of lead turns today. Uh, trying to neutralize that. And 
Guns did a good job really trying to get the one circle fight with the hog and uh, that's a really dangerous position to be in in the viper one circle with the hog especially low levels so you know 15 14 thousand feet uh, it's even worse as you get down but that hog has pretty good turn rates um, when you're in the one circle right they're they're able to get their radius real tight and get inside and, and, and again the turn rate's pretty good so if you can take them two circle where their turn rate's going to kind of decay it's going to go to about 13 degrees per second depending on configs and altitudes and all that but about 13 12 13 for sustained for the hog so uh, two circles where you want to be and you want to stay high and stay above their nose because it's going to be hard for them to get their nose back up but uh, to take a one circle fight that'd be pretty dangerous Thinking about it there, I think one of the uh, nose on Fox 2 calls might have been a little bit tight, probably probably close to 6,000, 7,000 feet, and uh, obviously training rules are 9,000 feet, so it's, yeah, somewhat of a, a dangerous call. Granted, it was a simulated, but even then, depending on uh, you know nose off position, it might be hard for that M9 mic to to pull lead and get it. It's one of the cool things about doing this training is you can kind of see how that mic's doing. And the x-ray is just wicked, so. Texaco, Gypsy 2-2, thanks for the gas, moving to reform. Pretty eager to check out the, uh, check out the tack view. Texaco Gypsy 2 1, 10 to the east inbound. Fuel flow is pretty high. I'm gonna give myself about 200 pounds to make this happen. 10 miles, so not too bad. Pull some lead here. Got good closure. It's nice getting a. Uh, Data link picture, even though the radar is off here. Gypsy 2 2 is uh, in trail, tanker down at 25,000 feet, uh, going heads down.
two on VHF. Two ones got gotcha. you, Lima Charlie on Fox Mike. How'd it go? Uh, went good. Um, I I actually really only got one set because I was in the the hold, kind of drained a lot of the gas, and then at the end uh, I had about maybe four thousand fuel. I could have done one set, but then I, I would have left myself short to either get home quick or uh, or get back to the tanker. Roger. Visual one uh, approaching tanker, probably about uh, three miles. Bingo! Bingo! Come on, Captain. One is uh, 1.5, gonna expedite. Texco, Gypsy 2, one mile trail. Texaco, 3, 1, 4, 1, 1, request rejoin. Ford, 1, 1, Texaco, 3, 1, proceed to pre contact at 27,000, at 3, 0, 0. Texaco Gypsy 2 1 is astern, moving pre contact. Ooh, we might not be able to slow down. Alright, we could sweep. Six thousand pounds per minute. That's a good deal. Actually, I don't know if it's six thousand pounds per minute. I don't know if they uh, downgrade it to. Someone said three thousand, but I'd always heard six thousand. I don't know if anyone knows. In the chat, I'd be kind of interested to know. I guess I could uh, Return free contact. use a stopwatch next time. Just figure it out that way. Contact. You're taking fuel. Either way, it, it beats the probe and drogue. I think that's what, like 500, 800. Pounds per minute, that kind of sucks. Return free contact. Okay, I need to go aft. You're taking. Return free contact. Contact. Can barely see that light. Return 
Not breaking my tail on his boom. All right, five point five. We just won't have to worry about gas anymore. And Gypsy two ops check uh, one is zero zero one minus. Two is zero zero four minus. Uh, we can change that on the way back if you want. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Contact. You're taking fuel. Return free contact. He's probably got enough fuel for three or four sets, depending on how we do this. So I'm actually going to fill up the tanks. Plan on burning it off on the way back. Texaco, Texaco, Gypsy 2-1, clearing the boom and crossing under to reform. Alright, one saddle on the right, you want to take us uh, low left to the south? Roger that, low left to the south. Texaco, uh, Gypsy 2 is clearing low left in the departing zone. Down five degrees and turn it to the south. Overshooting a little bit, so just roll out, deploy the brakes, come back left. Pushing up to 85. Texaco Gypsy 2 clear to the south, pushing blackjack. Thanks, good day. Gypsy, let's push COM 110 when able. Blackjack, good day. Gypsy 2, two ship F16 out of the Texaco track, uh, proceeding to Elgin North for range work. Gypsy 2, check uniform. Rolling out reference uh, CP, uh, maybe Elgin North. A firm, let's uh, check left for steer point six, Elgin North. And uh, one's uh, line right, pushing uh, yardstick. up to 
400. One yard six feet. Two four hundred and on the left one mile. Roger. Okay, do you want uh, free for all sets or would you like to do uh, uh, bandit sets? I can be the bandit for you. It's uh, your call. Um. Yeah, let's go free for all. Roger. Uh, line formation, so enjoyable. Check wing, look around, but primarily staring to his six o'clock, good mutual support. He's staring to my six o'clock, so it works out well. Gypsy 2, fencing. Once fenced, zero, zero, 001 minus 8.8. .8. Two fence, zero, zero, 004 minus 8.1. Okay, one's coming left to a heading of 205. Blackjack Gypsy 2, 20 nautical to the north, Elgin North, 22,000 with you. Alright, so this will be good. We can do some solid butterfly sets here. Solid line. We check away 45 degrees. Wait for 2.8 on the tack end. Call fights on. And turn in and try and shoot each other. Gypsy 2, check away. Check away. One's got a tack and fro, is going to call it visual. Okay, Gypsy 3 miles, turn in, fight's on. Turn in, fight's on.
One's uh, no joy looking. One's telling. Oh, the Viper's hard to see when it gets pointy. That's the horn. Okay, uh, Gypsy 2 1 went no joy. Passing through 18,000 left hand turn looking. Tally. Drop and chop flip. Tally. Your uh, wedge right. Let's uh, terminate north. Terminate north. Yeah, this thing's really hard to see against the blue background when we go in the vertical. Gypsy, let's hook left. Ready? Go. Hook left. And two is uh, hooking left, maintaining 300 knots. Roger. Once crossing underneath you, you're going to be doing uh, basically a 90 into wingman. Okay, uh, say, uh, say heading. South. Two's rolled out, 270. Uh, correction, it's uh, south, 180. Okay, 180. Push it up 400. Push it up 400. One's your one mile line right, little sucked coming up. Two visual. One's ready on the right, 400. Check away. My tack end still borked, you want to call it? Sure. Turn in, fight song. Roger, fight song. One tally. Two no joy. Okay, tally. Roger, continue. Alright, good use of the vertical. Nice little yo-yo. I went one circle with him. So 
So I'm high, he's low. Probably lost joy with me now. Yeah, definitely lost joy with me. Let's go for guns. Uh, busted the LC there. I'm 8,000, but let's keep going. Better. Not the best turn circle Altitude. entry. Okay, can we get lead? We got lead, we got closure, 60 knots, 100 knots, here we go. Not enough for guns. Let's see if we get them across. Thought he might reverse there. We rolled out, kind of let our speed build. Nice, he did a really good job rating around 400 knots here. So he's he's got winning cues. I don't want to tighten because it'll just it'll be temporary. We really need to work on rating around. So let's, let's unload a little bit. Okay, 460. Focus on that good corner. 486. This should be better for us. 70. Right. He's tightening. Okay. I see crossing angle. There we go. That's a reversal opportunity. Continue. He did a really good job with the speed up high. All right, nose coming down. This is our guns opportunity. Watch the terrain. So I'm going to unload again. So you can see I unload, relax my turn rate. He was kind of surging. Now we're fairly even in the turn rate. Going to tighten, 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 tighten. He's going to pull harder. I don't have the energy for a good reversal, but we're going to reverse. This is a BFM error. All right, use bingo. Roger, let's terminate. Can I confirm you are uh, two zero zero. I am uh, two point seven. Roger, let's uh, terminate south. Dang, that's pretty quick. I was burner a lot there, and I was uh, 5.0. I started with 500 extra pounds, though, or uh, 800 extra pounds, so maybe that's the difference. Okay, one's uh, 180, 13,000 feet blind looking for you. 
Roger, uh, looks like I'm kind of like your 9 o'clock at 19,000. Roger, coming up 19,000. Blind looking. Wing waggle. Chat flare. Oh, I was looking the wrong freaking way. Visual. I'm uh, eleven o'clock now. Visual? Yeah, I was staring out the wrong wing like a total dumbass. <laughs> hey, too, you're uh, the low fuel guy. You want to take us home? Okay, uh, I have 2.5 and take us home. Let me zoom out and see where we're at. Roger, one's gonna cross under the left wing. One is heading uh, 180 and uh, going to steer point 10. Checking right, reference steer point 10. And Gypsy, let's uh, fence out. is fenced 4.5. Um, I'll probably need to do a maxi uh, back to the base because uh, 2.4 should... Uh, let's drop it down to about 2300 fuel flow. One's uh, clear and left. Yep, you're good. Come back anytime you want. So I'm showing uh, 36 miles to Nellis at uh, this fuel flow. We should be alright. Field's four minutes out. Jack, Gypsy 2, 36 north of Nellis pushing Nellis control. Thanks, g'day. Gypsy 2, let's push uh, COM 1 4. Control Gypsy 2, two ship F 16, 33 to the north inbound, Nellis. Alright, let's check left reference to your point 11. And I'll start a descent down to 4,500. Just 
sending in the turn. All right, two, I got a pop quiz for you. Go. Do you remember the best glide AOA for the Viper? Ooh, I think it was 15 degrees. Uh, close. I my understanding of it is that it's 7 degrees AOA. 7 degrees. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm gonna back it off until I get 7 degrees AOA and then um, adjust speed to match. Okay. It doesn't want to slow down. Yeah, A firm. We can honestly keep the speed up. It was just in case he flamed out. <laughs> uh, too funny. Okay, one's got DCS lock up, uh, clear and left. Okay, one's got some uh, significant desync, gonna stay loose here. Yep, roger that. Um, you're, you, look, you don't look like you're desyncing to me, but uh, must be on your side. Still at basically 2.9 AOA right now with a seven degree descent. Yeah, this thing's pretty good to low drag. Man. Altitude. 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 sure why we're cutting inside like that. Continuing descent to 4,000. I've got 2.2 uh, fuel, so I think we're good to go for the overhead brake. Roger. Alright, and I'm uh, lining up on the runway and cleared in close. Nose control, Gypsy 2, 7 mile initial, pushing tower for Thanksgiving. Gypsy 2, push com 1, 3, 1, 8, 1. Nose tower, good day, Gypsy 2, 2 ship F16, inbound, 4 mile initial, 2 1 right, looking for the overhead. Uh, push up, maintain, uh, I shall push up to 3. Gypsy 2, up and back, wind 180 by 6 knots, active runway 2 1 right. You clear to land. Gypsy 1, clear to land, 2 on right. Holding at 3 one, five. All right, so obviously we were messing around with some stuff, a little non-standard approach. Typically we're coming in 3300 like we are, but we're uh, 350 for Gypsy 2-2 two, two in the break. A little sloppy, but that's okay. Okay, 
Alright, five second delay in the break. Keep my power up for the first part of the turn. Flight idle once I'm 90 away. And I'm just gonna relax this turn. I like to keep my uh, my pattern nice and tight over that first corner of the field. I don't like to extend it downwind too far. Alpha Tower, Gypsy 22, right base, gear down, full stop, two one right. But typically, uh, Tower, Gypsy 22, clear, full stop, exit runway Alpha taxiway, contact ground once clear. Clear to land, two one right, exit Alpha. Dallas Tower, Gypsy 21, right base gear. Looking for a full stop, 2 and right. Gypsy 21, Tower, clear, full stop, exit runway at Alpha Taxiway, contact ground once clear. Gypsy 21, Roger clear to land, 2 1 right, exit Alpha, and we'll contact ground. Thanks. All right, watch the wake turbulence. Got the gear down, three green. Gonna try and land on the upwind side here. There's the wake. Two is on the right. All right, we're going around. Nellis Tire, Gypsy 2-1, going around. Yeah, wake turbulence is no joke. Gypsy 2 1, tower report once re established. Now, tower, Gypsy 2 1, right downwind, 2 and right. Gypsy 2 1, tower, 2 1 right, clear to land. Wind 180 by 6 knots. Clear to land, Gypsy 2 1. Gear coming down. Dallas Tower, Gypsy 2 2, clear 2 1 right on Alpha, contacting ground for taxi. Gypsy 2 2, copy, we'll see you on ground. in a while. A little fast over the threshold, but uh, just aero brake to about 100 and coast to the end. Tire Gypsy 2 1 clearing 2 1 right pushing ground. Else ground Gypsy 2 1 clear 2 1 right. Gypsy 2 1 
5221, tower copies, clear taxi to Alpha North VOR via Alpha Foxtrot taxiway. Taxi to Alpha North via Alpha Foxtrot, Gypsy 21. Okay, Egyptian 2, that's configured. Ground, Gypsy 2, 2 ship F16, Alpha North EOR, looking for taxi to Foxtrot 16. Gypsy 2, ground, you're clear to taxi to parking via Foxtrot. Gypsy 2, taxi to parking via Foxtrot. Gypsy 2. Hey, I like having a controlled, or a tower, you know, control tower here. I'm a little rusty with my controlled comps. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. A couple things there that I would uh, probably uh, note to Wing. I don't know if he's on the same channel, but uh, usually tower never... Uh, tells you what taxiway you're getting off while you're in, in the middle of trying to land. They'll usually let you get off and then uh, clear the runway and then uh, they'll just, basically they'll just tell you whether, you know, if, if you're going to stay with them or if you're going to go over ground after you land. Yeah, I think there's some minor things we could all improve on, but uh, uh, overall, it's, it's kind of interesting. I'm so used to treating Nellis as a CTAF that, it, you know, kind of have to stop and think for a second every once in a while here with the uh, the whole controlled aspect. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, it wasn't meant to be a knock at all. I mean, it's awesome to get a uh, controller in there. Jenner, high back on Yankee, 2-1 left, hold up. It's tower. Wind 1-8-0 by 6 knots, active runway 2-1 right, clear to land. And El Tower, 10 8 one get 5 taking runway 2-1 uh, Lima left. Okay, Gypsy 2, clear to shut down. Clear shut down, Gypsy 2. Clear for engine shutdown. Have a good night. GP2, clear shutdown. Thanks, good night.
Let's see if we can host tag for you. Roman's back up on Discord. Sweet. I didn't even yeah. know. I didn't even know Cupfly was still airborne. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they were flying a, quite a long time there. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? I thought Roman and Striker are the last ones, and all of a sudden someone's calling in for final. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're doing uh, just like ILS practice. They called for uh, two one left there, but yeah, it's good stuff, man. It's nice having you on, even though you weren't able to fly. It's uh, it's good to have you with us. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Still fun to sit here and <laughs> do comms and all that. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you've looked at our comms document for uh, air intercept controller, but I mean, uh, some of the Hornet guys, they did a really good job, like squaring away the uh, the TTP on that and, and making it nice and professional and, and you know, emulates uh, the real world comms pretty darn good. It's uh, it's definitely worth looking at if you're interested. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's there's a lot of learning when it comes to control and i'm still super rusty so anything is good learning experience <laughs> yeah absolutely striker we did th three hours and nine minutes wow uh, that was a that's a long flight for f-16 time yes it is one second i'm gonna be uh, on comms again i got two aars in don't forget that oh yeah good call i got one landing and you did one touch and go and I mean, technically, I don't know. Touch and go to me is a go around is the same as a touch and go. Yeah, let me log that real quick. <laughs> ah, good stuff, man. All right, I guess you could do your, uh, you could either do uh discord share or you could do um host a attack view uh i'm gonna do the discord share if that's okay sure uh, let's see cool we ended the flight good let's see if we can pull us up It's almost too many sets to remember. Yeah. All right. I was a little bit concerned about uh, how tight it was going to be there um, with those holds and, and just the ranges and... and violating bubbles and everyone being too close but actually it seemed to work out fairly good so it was actually yeah. a pretty yeah. good little setup you definitely you know kind of need to make sure if you're in the hold that you maintain your altitude block yeah for sure all right so we had our first i think we got two of them right two sets initially. yeah i think you got me both times As I recall, you got me both i think you got me multiple times on the within those first two okay i, th I thought it was um like got you once and i think we called neutral but okay let's see here okay so here's our hook uh, then you got sucked on the hook, so I did that 90 thing. And then we, I think we just entered straight from here and didn't even do a butterfly. Right. Oops, all right, cool. So looking at air speeds, 390, 370, 400, 380, so we're coming up. Boom. Nice lead turn, Striker. I like it. I'm neutralizing your lead turn. 2,000 feet separation. Looking good. 4Gs, 5Gs. 
You got that. I didn't pull enough G's. Ah, that was my that was my issue there. Then I started putting it on. I went into the vertical. Let all my air speed off. I'm coming right across that turn. Yeah. Uh, you're still you're doing a good job keeping your air speed up though. I think I don't. I let I let you spit out, you spit me out too far. That's that was bad move there i mean this is still two circle i'm slightly offensive Twelve thousand, you're fourteen thousand feet my airspeed's real low your speed's real high right so you're coming up on me you're coming up on me yeah but this is this is neutral you know so i i, yeah, I, guess I haven't so. seen anything too dramatic from this angle yet. then i lost you oh you still one circled there Really hard with the AIM-9 mic, though. Yeah, so if we I look at that... You got me there. It was 4,000 feet when I called it. Or, yeah, when I shot. So I think I called continue. I have to look at my stream to see. As I recall, you did. Yeah, continue. Because it, you I can just, see it's barely pulling lead. Like, that was a marginal shot. Probably would have missed. 4,000 feet's kind of tight for an AIM-9M. But as you can see, we go to the one circle. Uh, well, we had a one circle going on. And then... Air is, speed slow. Yeah, this is where I'm kind of... Speed going down, speeding it up. Yeah, you... you uh... if, if I recall, I, I lagged it out and called simulated Fox 2 here. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. I like your circle though. Dang, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I was like, man, I keep getting too slow here. So I, I just, you know, relaxed on the stick and let the airspeed build up. Yep. All right, I think we've terminated by this. Extend. Point. Extend. Zone five. <laughs> I just want to look at this from a different angle and just see what. The vertical maneuvering looked like so boom and then I'll slow it down doing the pilot shit all right so you're you're kind of ho horizontal in this turn I'm aggressive nose low you realize that and you follow me down really good job following me down there Florence and I did a set the other day where I did not follow him down and his aggressive no low angles really worked out well and he was able to just shoot me like easy. So nice aggressive nose low. I think that neutralized any advantage I might have gained by that. Yeah, you still have me a little bit in the turn though. A little bit. Um, but it, it's look at the airspeed delta, right? So just because I pulled for nose position with the with the mic, it's never going to come across that circle. I'm at 300. You're at four four forty. So I think yeah, your I nose that... your nose high here, like maybe a little too high. I think maybe you're trying to stay above, make it hard for my nose, which is good. But I think if you overbanked a little bit and like started sweeping back down and just focused on a good rate fight, which you do. Like that's, there, there it is, yeah. Keep it going, keep it going. So I'm definitely aggressively getting the nose on. Okay, even a pretty decent little jink there. I'm, I'm okay with that. We might have shot each other in the face if this was no training rules, that's the thing. Um, what you see here is a, kind of a yo-yo where I'm over the top and, and actually because of the lift vector it's going to be somewhat lagged um, that shot would never have made it so that was a shitty shot on my part good flares yeah, drop flares yeah Ooh, that was that was a nice yo-yo man so uh, that, that's, an, that's such an awesome move it is I think you by just continuing, that's giving me angles. So I think to neutralize that, when you see 
there's someone kind of barrel across roll. Just yeah. Keep you should barrel roll into them, and we we would have entered a scissors situation. So uh, okay. If, if so, you had been barrel rolling with me, kind of mirroring what I'm doing, then we're neutral still. Um, as it is, I end up on the outside in lag. Uh, and then from here, my airspeed and your speed, it just, it's creating separation, which is what I want. You see the range is increasing. All right, guys, all aircraft are on the ground. I got to head to bed for work tomorrow, but have a good one. <laughs> All right, good stuff. All man. right, Wing, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. You betcha, it was fun. Sweet. All right, good stuff. And I think we call terminate for for altitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we called terminate for altitude, but that was that was really good. Good first set. Challenging. All right. Yeah, definitely. So if I recall correctly, we sprinted out and we came back in. Here we are coming back. We're able to do our butterfly check away, which is nice. Check away. Turn in fights on. All right, there's our turn in fights on call. I'm going to shorten up these tails. Yeah, you farm. I was, uh, I guess I got inside you. I was going pretty fast, so I was like, oh, okay, I better drop some of that energy. Yeah, that ends so. up being a good lead turn. So if I want to neutralize that, I need to go aggressive nose low. Um, but I do not neutralize it. I'm, I basically am doing my own lead turn in the horizontal. So this is a very weird one. If I would have rolled over right there and then started pulling in, I think I... Yeah, yeah. I, I went oh, too high over. I, I agree. I got, if, if you had come up this way, like try and lagged it, and you're kind of like the barrel roll that we just saw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think you would have been very offensive. You know, coming up this way, lagging it over. Yeah, you kind of do it there, though. Uh, just a little bit. I mean, for from my perspective, you're winning this at this moment. Um, both of our air speeds are very low. I take this opportunity to go one circle which works out well for me because your your nose low um, but you can see just high AOA 31 degrees it's basically falling it's not exactly flying <laughs> right <laughs> fortunately I fell slow enough that you weren't able to get a missile shot we busted bubbles but I think we called continue yeah it wasn't I mean it was it was slow motion turn so it wasn't like we, we we saw each other the whole way i think yeah it was fairly controlled so fairly neutral here uh air i'm kind of building air speed you're building air speed altitudes look good so this would totally be aim nine X Wes, but the mics, I mean it's just the mic can't do it. Yeah. The mic make mics you have to really maneuver to get the shot. Yeah, it makes you work for it. I, I like the mics. It's a good fun one to, to practice with. Yeah. You can it, be sloppy with the X ray. Makes... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like it's it's good. Could you imagine doing a dissimilar where you're you're like uh, mics versus X-rays? We've done that actually a couple times, I think. Yeah, we have. It's pretty hard. You just have to keep it tight when you're going against the X-ray. That I mean, then instead of doing two circles, I'm always picking one circle. Yeah. Right. All right. Cool. So. 
Hi. I just want to look at your HUD view real quick. If I swap it over. Uh, tracker R. It's not letting me use it, but. Okay. I just wanted to see. Kind of if you were able to look out and, and shoot me here. But we're, we're both fairly tight. Neutral pass. Okay. Vertical. And we've terminated. Yeah, we terminated there. So yeah. that was, uh, I would call that a draw. I definitely okay. call that a draw. So, okay. I think we go hit the tanker. Just going to back it out. Boom. We tank. Fun tanker extravaganza. Back to the hold. Uh, I think it's me and Puma at this point, so I'm just gonna, I'll just, I just quickly want to look at it, see how it. Yeah, sure. I try to take him. Actually, with Puma, I was fairly sloppy. It was guns that I was very conscious about doing two circle. So how many for for our first game, engagement? How many would you say that uh, that we did? For our first engagement, you got yeah. you got one or two on me. First engagement was I, I would screen. I would go with one, and uh, the, the second one was one a zero. draw. Yeah, because I think there was a simulated fox two in there. So um, let's see. I could sync up the audio, but yeah. So two circle here with Puma. I'm gonna speed it up. I called. I called continue because I didn't think it was going to pull lead. Actually, I want to see what that shot was too, just for distances. Yeah, so like 1.2 nautical, so that's like 7,000 feet. And if you look at that, like it's not, it's not pulling lead. Like it's, it's struggling. But you got Puma? On Yeah, I mean, he called terminate. Uh, immediately I called continue because of that, that missile was a, it wasn't going to do it, but he, he called Oh, really? Terminate. So you don't think... Oh, okay. No, I mean, it's after the airplane. Like, if it was out in front, I would have been confident with it, but... Um, so, yeah, that was a terminate. We reset. Do it again. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to go different view. So, yeah, I tried going very aggressive here. Uh, he follows me down to circle flow. And my next thought was right about here. I'm like, oh no, this is not good. We're getting closer to where the hog <laughs> performs well. And I'm low airspeed. Like right here, I'm yeah, seeing his really like, if he's we... trying to follow you up. He's trying to like get the nose up to get you. Yeah. If I just go selected objects labels and then do turn rate okay so 14 degrees yep that's the hog 14 a and wow I'm... yeah but he can't get his nose up though <laughs> no um okay and then he also went blind but i think he if he had not gone blind he would have shot me yeah I don't know. I mean, if you're you're up pretty high, it's really hard for the for the hog to get that nose up there just to even get the missile locked on you. It is, but he was 240 knots through here, and I think that's enough. It would have been close, and that was kind of my game plan was, okay, just float, 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 once I realized I had screwed up, but I got lucky. Um, honestly, that was a set where I got lucky. All right, so we terminate. And then we have one more set. Oh yeah, we we started the set and then they called, so we only did two sets. So next, I think it's you okay. and someone. So with the two sets with with uh, from you and Puma, you think it was a draw on your side? 
like two draws and then so we graded it as two wins for the viper um looking at it in tack view like uh, i think i definitely would have been able to con to finish that first fight but that missile didn't track so i, I wouldn't have graded a kill and in fact i tried to call continue when we were flying but um the second one was definitely a win but it was a it was a cheap cheap win you know not made the mistake and he just lost visual so okay so it's you and guns how did that go yeah that went okay um we we uh started out we did the the butterfly check away uh, it took us a little while to finally get lined up i think we we, uh, we had to circle around a couple times okay I, I noticed when i flew with guns he was pretty good about trying to get one circle like every fight he was trying to get it and i just i, <laughs> I was really kind of cheeky and just did not let him take with me one circle but uh, mm. he seems dangerous so <laughs> all right so, yeah, yeah. So we haven't found each other yet it's a weird dance but okay <laughs> we're, we're kind of like keep heading towards the the circle point okay and i think i i was following him and and we we did fights on at that point okay cool here's that check away good all right i'm gonna go angle off I went down to gain speed. I was a little slow at the start of that. Oh, yeah. You're real slow. That kind of hurt me. Oh, yeah. I was very conscious so of we... that. <laughs> <laughs> so I did the you know the up and over thing, but then I lost a lot of speed. So I'm like, oh, I got to get my speed back. Yeah, so he saw said him. he saw me. He saw me, and then he's like, "Okay, I got him." Went down and toward the ground, and uh, and then he's like, "Damn, I lost him." <laughs> that that viper is just so deadly when you. Okay, this is dangerous because he he had six thousand feet. I mean, that's approaching Wes, right? It's it's definitely tight, yeah. but it's approaching Wes for the mic. Yeah. He ha that's where he like he had me and then he lost me because I got underneath him and I think I turned the opposite way. Yeah, let me just back it up. I just want to, oh, damn, it's so hard to back it up in small increments. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at. I, I want to see if he ever gets like a good gun solution. Okay. Because if, if he had the gun funnel up right here, dangerous. Very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, I think we, we're very lucky that they don't have a lot of practice um, fighting the small, tiny Viper. So, like, that, that's somewhat helpful, I think. It's really hard to get a gun solution when you're far away. If you're not tracking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he. I think he had enough energy though that he could have pulled for for guns, um, but yeah, just lost sight of you coming downhill. Okay, the altitude bubble bust there. Did you guys terminate? Yeah. Um. Actually, I. I went low, and then I was like, uh, I I said I, I'm below altitude, but I'm I'm back up above now, so. Tell me if you want to continue. He's like, okay, continue. All right, so you guys continued. That's cool. Okay, Oy. I I saw this shot. It was never going to track. 3,000 feet well into aft. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to change angles. All right, bad reversal. I don't know what he's doing there. Oh right, yeah. He lo he had lost a lot of airspeed. Okay, he's well below bubble, so. Uh, so he's me... trying to track me. I'm I'm pretty pretty fast, so there's no way he's gonna come up into the vertical with me. He he bled off all of his airspeed. I still got plenty. <laughs> 
Although he is, he is tracking me. Well, that's the thing. Look angle. at your turn rate. You're five. He's eight, nine. You know. But I'm still gaining speed. Yeah, I, I pull. I saw him coming up, and I pulled away. Yeah. And then I'm climbing again. Oh yeah, I see this now. Yeah, it's going to be hard for him to get lead nose position. Uh, then I then I was like, okay, now I'm turning back into him. Uh, he turned away. I probably. I probably should have like yo yo yoed down and and up and around him or something like that. I'm hard. It's uh, yeah. I came in too close to him. Okay, so what I would say here is, um, if I if I back it up, it's gonna go way too far. But if you imagine him here and you about right here, he's not a threat to you. So use that time to build separation. Right, his whole game plan should be basically keep it tight get inside your wes your game right. plan should be how do i create separation so i can employ missiles um right so i would have unloaded and continued build the energy and then basically like zerg into a high nose high because by that time he's going to be coming around but he's not going to follow you up you can come real high create good separation He's going to struggle. He's going to float around. And then you can bring the nose down and come right in on him. Right. So, so Assuming you uh, you keep tally on him. Yeah. So, but A-10 is pretty easy. So by you going tight like that, you minimize your options. And, and he does a really good job here, actually, taking you one circle. Even though you guys are, like, well below <laughs> the altitude. Uh I mean, he's he's trying hard to get you one circle, and this is also dangerous. Yeah. I think you guys terminate. Yeah, it looks like you guys have terminated. So, wait, I just want to see what your airspeed was coming downhill. Okay, so here you are. Yeah, 340. Uh, keeping it high, keeping it high. You tighten up. He rolls wings level. He's nose high, 160. You're 300. But see how you're pulling 4G and you're, you're uh, 3, 310? If you unloaded to 0G here, wings level, I mean, you could have zerged up to 420 in like two seconds. And then and then just, just bleed it all by bending the corner and then... I wouldn't even done the corner. I would have high yo-yoed. High yo-yoed, up high. He's never going to follow you. Um, that's right that's and, a good point and then just wait for an opportunity to come down just create separation with that high yo-yo yeah. trying to you 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 know that's a very good call yes you can you can use g and convert your airspeed with the viper um but i think a better plan would have been to to zerg high to to really create separation by by doing that high yo-yo yeah, that's true. I, I I see that now. Hey guys. Hey ghost. Hey, what's up, ghost? We're uh, debriefing the uh, the various flights here. I don't know if you got eyes on. Yeah, he does. He does a pretty decent job of trying to take you one circle. Looks like he's he's struggling he's here. He's lumbering. He's lumbering around there. Yeah. Well, how fast is he going? Uh, one, 200? 180, 180, basically. 2G. So, so he probably could have relaxed it a little bit better and been a bit more efficient, but yeah, it was an interesting fight. People tend to underestimate the hog, but it's pretty true. pretty capable. All right. Did you do another fight here? No, I was actually kind of on the edge of bingo, so I, I said I'll... I'll go tank and then try and come back for some more. Okay, so I went and fought guns. So let's go look at that real quick. He did a good job directing geometry. Uh, I can't remember if we called fights on here. I don't don't recall. Uh, we did. We called fights on immediately. I'm not sure why why he's doing the 
rolling. Maybe he's trying to get tally on you with his HUD. So let me just back it up. Passing right, right. Man, he brought it in tight. Ooh, Ooh that's a little, little too close. Yeah, he he brought it in tight. Uh, and thousand foot bubble. I wasn't gonna let him have any lead turn, so I I took it tight too. <laughs> okay, you see him reverse right here. He's trying to take it one circle. So I see his his one circle, and I'm like, all right, we're not doing that. So I basically start pulling hard to come back off. <laughs> You're like, nope. <laughs> and he's kind of, I think he's over controlling a little bit. Yeah, he, yeah, that might be what that was. Is like he departed the aircraft uh, trying to pull so hard. Oh, and then you just nail him with the shot right there. Yeah, 1.5 and that AIM-9M just, it does good. So that was actually definitely a, a kill. Yeah. All right. So we terminate. Let's see. I think he calls a hook turn. Here we go. Check away. Turn in fights on. I'm going to slow it down again. He just carried slow speed on purpose. Eh? Yeah, I don't know. I I uh, I was not planning on doing any slow speed stuff with a hog. I don't want to get mowed. Yeah. So here he is. Let's go vertical and keep climbing. Turning in. Go vertical. I should be rolling right, being more right here, but no, no. Actually, that is right. It's hard to tell uh, aspect. Somewhat challenging. Okay. See, he's every time he's trying to go nose nose one circle. Um, really trying to create separation. Floating over the top. I hear the horn. I'm like, uh oh, this is not good. Can he bring the nose up? Oh, and he falls off. Let me just right because he's like one ten there. Yeah, one seventeen. So you cannot keep climbing like that in the hog at one seventeen. You're mm. just not going to do it. No, he's he's trying. He's trying his best. I'm flaring. Look at that ninety. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen. Let's see here, flaring coming down. And at this point, I'm like, uh-oh, this is not good. Because <laughs> I'm the low man. And struggling. So I'm just trying to get on the outside. Yeah. I should unload here. But I'm keeping it tight. One circle. Not cool. I think I did end up unloading. It looks like that was kind of perfect right there. If you unload, yeah, bam, yeah. you're zooming back out. I sh I really should have unloaded more though. I was two two G. If I had gone negative G or you know zero G, probably built some better speed. And you're you're climbing too. Okay, we called terminate. <clears throat> so one of the, in there was a simulated Fox Two for me when we were nose nose. Um, probably would have been too tight to track though. Alright, let's see. I think we got one more set. Okay. Man, he is hot aspect. Alright. Lead turn, kind of cheeky, but look at that. See him roll into the one circle? 
he sees my lead turn and it rolls in. I'm like, nope. You roll back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, a BFM error there, but you know, I'm not not going one circle. And you under? Yeah, I decide to really cash in, get in two circle. Because what my concern here, and I was actually narrating this as I was flying, but my concern was that he was going to be able to just right around before before me point the nose and shoot me across the circle so i i tried to really get the speed up and and get through get through so it's hard for his nose to come around um i'm flaring because i'm worried about the nose but yeah it didn't he didn't have it there i wonder if he was more aggressive if he could have shot me across the circle or if he would have gone nose low I don't know, it's interesting. Because this turn right there was about 8, and, you know, the hog's capable of 12. So, it's somewhat interesting. Let's see. I don't think he's going to be able to go nose high. He's not. I'm kind of floating above him. Waiting for an opportunity. Yeah, right here. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so then I turn in after him. <laughs> Flips over. And that's my simulated Fox 2 call with the flares. 4,000 feet marginal. If we go to a gun track, I think we probably would have gunned him. In fact, guaranteed we would have gunned him. So, okay. And I think that was it. We terminated. But I liked how you was trying to do one circle that whole time. That was cool. Yeah. All right. You and I are at the tanker. And then our last two sets. Moon and striker. Nine G turn. Damn almost ten G's. Woo. <laughs> All right, so you're four thirty. I'm a little slow here. We've got good separation. Kind of makes it good for two circle. Nice. Nice turn. Oh, this was this is the one where I had the late pickup. Well, geez, ten G's. <laughs> uh I think you're looking at rate. G's is four. Oh, I thought it was TRT. Okay. Turn rate, okay. Ah, so I had the late pickup. Okay, pick you up here off, and I'm called. Okay, uh oh. So execute break turn. I don't know why I'm nose high. That's kind of stupid. Because I do not have the energy to be nose high. Because you could literally just pull hard and shoot me. We're at two point five. Just pull hard, come across the circle, shoot me. I'm floating. Yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really bad uh, on my part, just going high and then being a stationary target. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, it seemed to work because I'm a tiny speck you... against a blue sky. <laughs> yeah, and you, but you, I mean, I'm coming towards you, but I didn't see that you just flopped over and then started coming back towards me again. But uh, those nine mics are, are hard to uh, to get to track, you know. Yeah, so I so, find that. So that's definitely a BFM error on my part. Uh, would not recommend doing that. I am lucky I'm not dead so, here. So I'm I'm <laughs> I'm surprised that. Yeah, I should have just like just pulled super hard and slowed down and come in right behind you. 
Yeah, this is an opportunity to cash it in. You got the separation, right two miles, boom. Pull, 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 roll and pull. There you go. You're pulling, you're pulling, you're pulling. Four Gs. I think you're trying. Pull harder. Pull harder. Oh, is that a simulated shot? See you no, it shouldn't have been simulated. I, I, you know what I think happened was I, I had a, uh, I had an art of UR. I think you might have hit me with the radar, and I got like a, a, a radar lock warning or something like that. Okay. I probably did. I was trying to lock you up as much as I could. Okay, I think we terminate, right? Yeah. So I would have said you you would have you would have definitely won that fight had you just kept tally and pulled hard across the circle. It's hard to know when to pull and when not to pull, but Okay, here we go. We're hot aspect. A lot tighter this time, four thousand feet. Good lead turn. I'm neutralizing the turn. And then I say, hey, let's try one circle. And then I was like, nope, I'm going down. I'm going to gain speed. You did. But in this situation, I'm like, let's try one circle where I just float. And it lets my nose come down. So. I think I lost tally on you. Yeah, I think so, too. I think when I go up against the blue sky, it's hard because I actually I do have missile tones here. I'm, I'm trying to get you and I'm trying to get a gun solution. Um, at 1.8, I th think the missile would have tracked. Yeah. yeah. I'm really trying to get guns, but you know what's interesting is I'm not able to get indications. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And really struggling to get the lead. Like, I'm pulling for all I'm worth. And I just can't get the nose around. Um, yeah, through here. I think you tighten up here. Yeah, if we look, 6G's on your point. You're tightening. And my, my gun points, like, all the way back here. I'm just trying, trying, trying. So you did a good job. Just tightening, tightening, tightening. I was just like, no. <laughs> well, that's definitely the time Back to off. tighten because you've got the airspeed. You're 420. Yeah. So uh, I roll neutral, and I'm, like, trying to give you reversal. One, one thing I noticed was that I had four mics, and then as soon as I shot one of my uh, missiles off, it seemed like that reduced my drag quite a bit, and mm -hmm. I was able to raid around faster. You know, like with Afterburner on, I was able to like maintain Gs and speed, just FYI. That's interesting. I mean, the mics don't have significant drag. It's like 11 uh, on the drag index. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a DCSism or not. You know, yeah, no. I think it's pretty sure it's a DCSism, but you know, you could take what you can get. <laughs> so look at this. You're uh, you're pretty offensive. Let's see. Do you get nose position? Why didn't you pull? Why didn't you pull? Why did you roll flat? I'm confused. Are you unloading? Uh, I think you did. You unloaded. Yeah, I was unloading. Six. Yeah, I was unloading. Okay. Trying to get into your turn circle. Mm, and you cash it in right there. But Actually, then you then you went, you know, ballistic <laughs> with your speed. You basically unloaded too. Yeah, I'm I'm tightening up here because I'm like, uh oh, this is not good. Uh, <laughs> then you go up. Oh, it was, you. Let me see. That was, that was, yeah. I'm I'm trying to create a situation where I can. Okay, two thousand feet. That's not going to track. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, I take. Yeah, did I? 
I, la I launched a missile off before that, right? One. No. No, that was the first missile. Yep. Okay. Well, then, then my uh, my drag theory is BF. Then. Let's see. Yeah, I have a stupid habit of getting slow, and you're at five thousand feet. I mean, it worked, but that's not. I don't know if I would call that good BFM principles. Yeah, I'm still trying to get guns here, and it's not no gun solution. Just don't have the nose pointing ability. And I think we ended up terminating for fuel on this one. Yeah, we took it low, yeah, like no low. factor on the train. Keep going. Just cruising around the circle, and we terminate. Couldn't get it to happen. Yeah. All right. So you're terminate here. I'm terminate. But did you off. say that you probably should have had me on one of those, right? Uh, the f uh, the first one was me being simulated. Dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here initially. But I think you, you mentioned it. You might have been because you you lost tally, but this was a definitely a good shot. Two two nautical miles. I would have had high confidence in the missile. Uh, if we just look at the HUD position, yeah. it's yeah definitely within missile wise. But overall, that was uh, definitely enjoyable. I like to doing the uh, the hogs. I mean, uh, I think they're fun to fight against and I, I even liked doing it with you too because we were you know not exactly dissimilar but you know it's interesting doing it at different fuel states and weapon configs like it does make some some effect and just initial air speeds and g's and subtle geometry problems and yeah maybe that's what it was maybe it maybe it was the um the first set i was heavy from the fuel and then i was after burning got lighter and then uh and then i was able to raid around